Students can take many actions right on school property to improve the school site. Some are very simple, such as installing bird feeders for wildlife viewing. Gardens take more effort, and although they may seem to have obvious benefits, some schools have become creative in their design to get more instructional use out of the work they put in. Some gardens can have a theme, such as a pizza garden that grows all of the vegetables and herbs that are typically found on pizzas to help students understand where their food comes from. There are also historical gardens, such as Three Sisters Gardens, that help teach students American Indian farming practices. Washington Yu Ying School in Washington, D.C. has planted a pollinator garden. Insects, such as monarch butterflies and bees, will gain nutrients from these plants and in return will pollinate plants that humans eat. And did you know that one out of every three bites of food you take relies on a pollinator? True. The gardens at Yu Ying serve as outdoor labs, and their nature trail even has areas that function as outdoor classrooms. Students also walk through the forest path to get to the building every morning. I like that every morning we're able to walk up through the nature center to our classrooms. It's like very fun and like really welcoming. In both the nature center and the garden, the students are sure to plant only native species so that invasive plants don't take over the school site. But while these plants help DC's local pollinators, students at Fur High School in Houston, Texas, are raising slightly bigger animals. We have chickens and ducks on our campus. The students, teachers, and visitors are all fascinated by the chickens, and it gives them interest in our school. It also gives them an interest in one another. By working together, these students build a bond enforced with purpose. I feel like the students have been really involved, like an icebreaker. The students here are not only fostering livestock, but are in the process of creating a forest right on their school site. The team worked with the Fruit Tree Planting Foundation and we planted 90 plus fruit trees. The trees that we planted will provide fruit to a community that lacks access to fresh produce. Some schools have not only made green areas greener, but actually converted unused industrial spots back into natural habitats. Thomas Stone High School in Waldorf, Maryland is planning to alter some of its parking lot. We'd like to make this a green parking lot, a living parking lot, so that it's not producing heat in the summertime. What we would like to do is turn this concrete slab into a stage and build an agora that goes around this whole parking lot, turn that parking lot into a pervious surface. I know right now it looks pretty plain, but what we think we can do is we can take this whole area and turn this into a model, uh, environmental, entertainment, market, business that is youth-led. The student-led project teaches community members about their environment and also about youthful leaders. I have made a difference by showing youth that they can share their voice and have important and mind-blowing ideas. 